OK, they've got a lot to talk about. Is it complicated also by AUKUS? Uh, AUKUS is uh, definitely complicated things in, in the sense, I mean, not for the Quad. The Quad is, uh, you know, the US, Australia, India and uh, Japan. But we've heard uh, Suga in the interview mention France, uh, specifically saying Japan wanted to work with France as well. And we heard that from Modi uh, as well. So, you know, these partners are all trying to ensure France that, yes, you have a place in the Indo-Pacific as well. Uh, for the Quad meeting in particular, um, you know, this is part of a longer term initiative of, of kind of democracies in the Asia Pacific region uh, to get together and really kind of provide an alternative to what uh, China is doing, um, you know, on vaccines, on infrastructure, on supply chains, um, all of these things, you know, um, not just military related, but also economic um, and, and other areas. Uh, Dan, even as he talks about Suga, talks about, uh, you know, building its uh, relationship with the Quad, he acknowledged Japan need to continue to talk with China. Uh, yeah, I mean, Japan has, has tried to maintain good relations with China, but at the same time, relations have deteriorated over the past couple of years. You know, during Shinzo Abe's uh, eight years as prime minister, he really brought... Japan closer to China. And before the pandemic hit, there was even talk of Xi Jinping heading over to Japan uh, for a summit. That never actually materialized. Um, you know, Abe was swept away last year. Suga came in after him um, and really fared no better. His popularity was, was down from the beginning. And, you know, as, as U.S.-China relations tanked, um, you know, the U.S. is Japan's biggest ally. So um, it, it's kind of gone along uh, with it in that regard. Uh, but, you know, among the candidates who could replace Suga in the election next week, um, you know, there's really none uh, that is, is promoting really dovish uh, relations with China at the moment.